We engage in the heavenly realm, March 29th, 2021. And I honor my brothers and sisters that are gathered with me as we step into the heavenly realm, this place that God has called us to habitate. We thank you, Father, for the angels that are encamped round about us. We honor them. We honor the cloud of witnesses. We honor the men in white linen. And Father, we are excited about what you're going to do these next few minutes with each one of us. We thank you for the going on and that you're teaching us so many new things and working a far greater work than we could have ever thought or imagined. So thank you for this time. Thank you for what you're wanting to do. We open our hearts to you, Father. I have an impression of hands. Um, under of the hands, but it's it's really bright. Right now, I see um, hands working um, fabric. It's like they have different colors of uh, a silk fabric or satin fabric in their hands. And they're, um, I don't know if they're weaving or trying to form it into something. I'm not really sure. What does the fabric look like? To me, uh, I saw it as silk and satin colors um, in red, yellow, orange. Um, and some are even, I guess, a tight, like look like a tie dye in those colors. 
Um, and then I, I just, I just now saw they were. I also saw them uh, put up on a, uh, a flags, you know, of worship. So, are, did you say that they were like flags? Well, they they are now on flags, like the fabric. I I think what what they were doing when I saw it the first time is they were getting them ready to put on on poles. Yeah, like worship flags or a banner of some type. As you said that, Jill, I saw the, I heard the words, the Lord is raising up a standard and we are to receive the standard, him as the standard bearer and walk in it. I don't know if this resonates with anyone, but um, I got the impression that even with the weaving or, you know, the stitching and so on, that it was each one of us that are put together uh, into one, like a, either a picture or something, but we are all drawn together. Yes, that resonates with me because that was the impression that I had. I first saw us around a round table and everyone was taking their seats. And when, when she, um, when Laurel said about something in the hands and then someone said about the material, Jill, I heard the word tapestry. In my experience, um, when you get weaving or tapestry, it's always the spirit of excellence that is involved. And um, and she weaves together not only beautiful opportunities, but beautiful colours of each of our lives. And she makes a fabric that that covers and that creates new things. Um, so I would encourage you to just engage with the spirit of excellence. This isn't perfectionism. This is excellence. And there's quite a difference. So engage with her because she's funny. She's beautiful. And she wants to draw you into excellence. Um, so yeah just just have, spend some time with her in the beginning uh, when we were waiting for the one that was to start the meeting um, i started seeing an image and i've listened to everything each person has said and i totally agree with it and I'm wondering why I saw this image, but I kind of felt like that I knew, but with everything everyone is saying, it seems like now would be the time to speak it out. So I saw a catapult. Now, I don't know what a catapult is or what it looks like, but I saw one and it's, um, it looks like a slide, but how can a slide look like ice at the same time? I don't know. And then it's going upward and we are entering onto the catapult. And I believe we're entering onto with the flags with on the pole. And the Lord said he was gonna take us up higher and higher. That's my impression. Does anyone resonate with that? I resonate with that. Um, what I was seeing, I was seeing two distinct pictures sort of uh, playing 
past me. The first one I saw when we, when I said the Lord is raising up a standard, was a medieval army, and each of us were each group um, in what the Lord is doing was under a certain standard bearer, but each standard bearer and that company that was with the standard bearer was accompanied by dozens of other standard bearers and companies and it was forming the big picture of what God was doing and in a medieval army you had catapults and so that resonates with me totally and then what I saw is as that was I was seeing this solid picture of a vast the whole earth being covered by the networks of what God was doing bringing the picture of God's final purpose the mature bride and um, the sons being in the fullness of their authority um, worldwide but all woven together and working together uh. What I can contribute to all this is uh, just like the scripture says. And when I come live, you say you guys was talking about uh, the black hole and uh, uh, Michelle black hair. But the Lord recently said to me, he's getting ready to take me somewhere that I don't know. Somewhere I never been. Somewhere I don't know anything about somewhere I never hear anything about. I'm like, I maybe haven't experienced anything. I mean, uh, uh, many things, but I hear testimony, people who encounter them, people who have those experiences, and they are true. Uh, it's not even anything like that. I believe God is getting ready to reveal to us deep things that we really never have know yet. But this conversation with the black hole this is when God revealed something when he came out of the dark, you know, to dark, uh, to his marvelous light. And maybe we've been prepared for that. Even certain things we see now, uh, they begin to unfold. I begin to experience things that I never experienced before. I begin to even see certain vision that's not all clear. It's like they're becoming clear. They're going to be, they're going to be brighter and brighter and brighter. I think we're really here for a, we in for is something great, something we've never been before when all this the Lord is about to reveal, yeah. I see trumpet blowers around us. Um, you know, it's it's a pipe, you know, just a very thin like horn, and then the horn is towards the end of it. It's very long, maybe four feet, five feet tall. And I'm seeing them that is everyone is preparing for this um, ascension or whatever we want to call it. And it's going to bow down and then it's going to push us up and it's going to push us through to like you're saying. And I was sensing was that it was going to be a to a place that not only we may not have seen, but others may not have seen, maybe have not has not been discovered yet. Yes, exactly. I know it was not me only, but he said that to me. I get ready to take me apart that I don't know. I don't have a clue about. And I know that was not just me all on, you know, but he clearly said it to me. And I think the black hole conversation we starting to, it's definitely, you know, like kind of appropriate, you know, the Lord orchestrated that for us to be talking about that, whatever that was. It's like we're being made ready and preparing for the reveal, revelation and the reveal.
Um, <clears throat> there's an excitement crackling in the air. There's a, uh, you know, it's not very, it's not like we're going to attack the enemy or anything like that. It's a, it's a very, um, ex there's an excitement. And um, I also don't know if, if this resonates at all, but um, I'm thinking the promised land, entering into the promised land. Uh, when Zoe mentioned the spirit of excellence, I just felt like we want to acknowledge uh, the spirit of excellence. So we agree and welcome you, a spirit of excellence. Um, so we appreciate you showing up to us and being uh, revealing whatever it is that you have come to show us today, and, and we embrace you. And uh, Thank you. So I just want to encourage us to, as Zoe earlier said, to just uh, take a little time um, and let us uh, embrace her. Maybe share some of the things that we're getting from embracing the spirit of excellence. This is so amazing that um, I hope to be able to portray what I am seeing and hearing. Uh, I'm seeing a rumbling and a revealing happening. And it's like liquid mountains that are out beside me. And they are, you know, different multicolors, but mostly a dark color. But it's the revealing of the suns, the suns that have been hidden or just uh, maybe it's God's timing, you know, that is happening, but it's the revealing of them and it's going to spread. And I held it too long. I should have said it earlier when it would probably have made less sense, but there was some other things too about the revelation. Um, people are going to come out of hiddenness, out of darkness and out of the, what has been holding them back. Uh, people that have given up, they've given up into COVID, they've given up to all kinds of fear. So it's the, the revealing and it's like a rebirth. They're being rebirthed. And as I see them coming up, they're coming up in a full, you know, they look like people. So they're people, but they were so hidden and tucked away. It was kind of like they were in a scramble of stuff. And so we thank you for this, Father. Does this resonate? Yes, it resonates with me. Thank you, Liza. Are you activating your senses on the spirit of excellence and what are you, what are you getting?
what what is pressing in my heart is this i mean it fresh i'm holding back but this is what the lord kept repeating uh this the 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 the, the, the spirit of excellence the lord is taking us from the order of Melchizedek to the order of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, the Lord fulfilled the order of Melchizedek, but many of us already been living, fulfilling the order of Melchizedek also. From the order of Melchizedek, God is shifting us to the order of Jesus Christ. And in that, there's dimension, 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 dimension to the endless, which is forever. Uh, the order of Melchizedek, it, it which he speaks, some people still have to walk it, just like the fivefold ministry, the church, the bride of Christ. But now we move him into the order of Melchizedek is not the end, it's the face of man. Now it's the order of Jesus Christ. And then when we get there, there's expansion, endless eternity, dimension, and that. That was taking us to excellence. This is what I say, if you want to be perfect, be perfect, just like your father in heaven is perfect. Uh, that's what's in my spirit. This is why we're heading there. The Lord is beginning to, to expand that. What I'm getting from this spirit of excellence, um, one of uh, her attributes is um, a deep concern for uh, and value for each person. Um, and it's not a concern like, oh, I'm worried about you concern. It's just a wanting, um, maybe of an acceleration for all of creation. I'm not sure, but I, I can really see that beautiful concern in in her. That's a caring, um, not a worrying. What I've been getting from the spirit of excellence is just a, a deeper understanding of that which I'm just being immersed in constantly and that's a, a revelatory fullness of love be, needing to manifest in greater and greater and greater dimensions until we all come to the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ as the mature man and I'm seeing that as the excellence that we are being taken to. It's not striving for, we are being taken into that as the completed work has already been done. And as we rest, the understanding is revealed unto us of what it is to be a full, mature walking in the maturity and fullness of Christ in everything. Yes, and um, I appreciate listening to, to every everyone that just spoke. And I lost so, so much because I was listening to what you were saying and I, I just relaxed into the Lord and he reminded me that what I'm experiencing and seeing is the restoration of these individuals that I'm seeing um, because they were believing another thing or something had them in bondage, something, but they're broke free. They have been set free. So I'm seeing their restoration and he's allowed me to do that. So as they're coming up out of this wet, you know, I can't really say it's a mountain, but it looks mountainous, but it's more of a bubbling kind of like a, I don't know. But anyway, they're coming up out of that and he's restoring them. So he's restoring them. And I believe it's the restoration that he's wanting to do. And he's restoring people that didn't even know that they were his. They had totally forgotten. It's like they had a mind, mind wipe. And they're coming back into 
their glorified self that he has called them to. Let's activate <clears throat> together, you know, some of the senses with regard to the spirit of excellence. For example, what fragrance do you sense around the spirit of excellence? Let's share what fragrances. For me, I immediately smelled floral, floral. Yes, and remember that they may, we may smell different smells. That's fine. You know, we're just engaging in spirit of excellence uh, together, but also individually. So we have, let, let it flow, whatever is your first impression. Honeysuckle. Lavender and peppermint. I had smelled um, floral as well and sandalwood. The revelation of um, Solomon building the temple with sandalwood. So I relate it to wisdom. I was getting the fragrance of jasmine mixed with cinnamon and very much a comfort fragrance. Well, I was getting orange and lemon and um, it's like that. I, I suppose it's a bit like mint where you suddenly get a very, very strong fragrance that kind of alerts you. And um, I find with the spirit of excellence that suddenly your senses get really alerted, they get awakened, they get um, aroused to concentrate on something. And um, it can be anything. So all those fragrances are true. Uh, and the mix of them together makes the whole. But the, the, the senses that for you individually will wake you up to something, to alert you to under, it's almost like a red pen that underlines something in writing that says, look, listen to this, this is important. Um, listen to this and, and put it into practice. Um, it's not just a one-off thing with the spirit of excellence I've found. It's, a, it's an ongoing, um, almost meditation of something that she reveals that you kind of want to go deeper into um, and there's, there's such a joy in her and there's such a freedom in her that she wants to bring you out of perfectionism and trying to make everything right and trying to see everyone adhering to what's right to coming into the excellence of love and the excellence of joy and the excellence of, of building from that tree of life. And so excellence weaves life wherever she goes. And um, I would encourage you if you've got the time and you can make the time to just spend a day with excellence where she weaves beauty into people's lives so um yeah take the time take the fragrance okay that resonates let's carry on Serge. let me be a specific to what i'm experiencing now I have smelled many fragrance before, all the time, 
But what I'm experiencing now is almost like right in the beginning, it's almost like you're taking a test and the answer is cinnamon. Like, you know, and I'm just cinnamon, cinnamon. I don't smell it now, but like my brain is bombarded, cinnamon, cinnamon. Like the answer is cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. Like the cinnamon is the answer, is the, is the response, you know, it's the right answer. Yes, that's lovely, you know. Uh, let's take a look at the color. What do we see around her? What does she look like in color? What, what colors are we ex experiencing? I don't know what other people are experiencing, but when I first experienced the spirit of excellence, I saw that there was a mixture of three different colors. And I saw that there was this beautiful orange, which came from wisdom. And there was this beautiful pink color that came from the spirit of love. And there was a beautiful yellow, which came from the spirit of understanding. And somehow, the mixture of those colors came together in this sort of coral, pinky, salmon, beautiful color. Um, and, and that was what excellence was showing me that it was not just one color, one strand, one flavor, if you like. It was a, a weaving together into a beautiful pattern, um, all these different flavors. And that's what excellence does. She takes she takes the best of everything. She takes the best flavor, the best fragrance, the best um, quality of life and together into something that's living and active. And, um, and, and, and it's, you, can't, you can't really define her with one thing. And you can't really define what she does with one thing. But then she turns it around and says, well, that's what you like. Um, you know, as soon as you try to define yourself and saying I'm a prophet or I'm a teacher or I'm a whatever, um, she changes it and, and brings in another flavor or another fragrance just to say, mm, there's a bit more to you than that. And, and, and that's how she works. She works on bringing out the excellence in your unique design. Uh, I definitely resonate with that. I don't need to say nothing about that. Okay. Right from the beginning, everything you mentioned here, and that's what passed on right. my spirit like an explosion. So I just resonate with that. I don't have to say anything. They said give it to please. So they didn't say which. Yes, I love that, um, Zoe. I really do. That's That's beautiful about the spirit of excellence. Um, what just so, so what are others getting in terms of color or sense of her appearance? I was getting that she was golden. I was just seeing like a, a flimsy kind of a golden kind of a color. 
and that I was also seeing that she shimmered. And, and when she shimmered, there was a release of, of the excellence that she is, that she releases. And I was also thinking, I wondered if uh, we, this, this understanding of engaging spirit of excellence is actually what was um, shown to us earlier about the tapestry that's being, or the banner that's being raised up, that we were being, we were being drawn up into engaging excellence to see our being as well, you know, in the new dimension. I'd love to hear more about the colors that you all see. I was seeing purple and it was kind of like velvet, I guess, because it was, well, not velvet, satin, because it was kind of shimmery, like you said. And there was kind of a purple mist around her. I also saw lavender, also in silk. What about uh, frequency in terms of sound? What, what sounds come to you as you engage Spirit of Excellence? Well, interestingly enough, uh, the colors I was seeing, I was actually seeing sound waves as her garment, and they were an indigo blue and a absolute intense, vibrant, uh, almost ultraviolet purple. And the sounds were harmonizing with each other. And the sense I got was that as we embrace excellence, we start to harmonize with everything around us. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. This is a, it's a real favour with the spirit of excellence. When you think of Daniel, when he had the spirit of excellence, there's a real harmony, there's a real favour. Even, even the enemies, if you like, if you could call them enemies of God, because God has no enemies in that sense. But um you know there's a there's a drawing of those who are far off back to what they they were meant to be what they were meant to be hearing um when you think of um of daniel you know that there were there were people that saw things and heard things and were terrified of what they saw and yet daniel could bring the re reality, the excellence out of, out of that. And um, I'm not quite sure what I'm saying, but there's something in it that, um, that takes people out of Babylon into the kingdom of God. I 
I resonate with that. Yeah, so she removes all performance and, uh, you know, and shows us, <laughs> uh, shows us the intrinsic perfection <laughs> of our being. Anyone else get the sound? Hear a sounds around her? For those who have just joined us, we are actually engaging the spirit of excellence right now. Once before, in our engagements, we began to talk about the very thing I'm going to say now. You know, uh, I was thinking about color, and I got she she sound. Uh, sorry, I was thinking about sound, and I got she sounds like milk and honey to me. And so we had before when we had engaged and to look into the sound and the color and everything, and we got different things instead of getting a color, we got the sound, or, and this is what I got right now for the sound, that she sounds like milk and honey. And I thought, no, I was supposed to say that when, when <laughs> what she tastes like, <laughs> but she sounds like milk and honey to me. And yeah, she sounds good. like an abundance of like, of like um, absolute, the juiciness. What is reminded to me is that, that scripture that says that, um, it was about Job, and it said that he, uh, it, his life it was like butter under his feet. And uh, other scripture that says, come and taste and eat uh, of the profuseness of spiritual joy, uh, of the abundance of it. So it, it, that's the kind of context I'm getting, like. No, I agree. Um, Michelle, you know, because um, Father is, is very much into things that we would call something like synthesia, where you taste something and and hear a word or you see a color and you hear a sound. And we've thought people that have that are very odd or unusual, but actually in the kingdom of heaven, it's, it's all there in all its multidimensional beauty. So, you know, if you, if you see a, a color and taste, a, a fragrance, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. What I also get, Michelle, when you say that, when you say it tastes like milk and honey, and because we're talking about excellence on the journey, that was the final destination. That's it, I'll take you to a land flowing with milk and honey. So that land is excellent. That's the final destination. So milk and honey to be this like sounds like it's like a whole the whole like a oneness. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, it was uh, I earlier said that uh, we there was a uh, we were being made ready and preparing, and there was an excitement, and there was and that we were like the like we were participating in the promised land. So anyone else get something about what the sound waves are that they sense around? What, what is the sound that comes to mind with the spirit of excellence? Uh, and what is the taste? <laughs> we use activate all our senses. We've already been hearing from things to do with the spirit of excellence. So what about these others, taste and sound? Let's let's get let's go more into it. Uh, for the taste, uh, Dimitri take communion, so <laughs> it's just the body of the Lord. <laughs> I just saw an image of like gold dust, like almost as if it was the spice. And I was like, oh, that kind of almost looks like turmeric, but it was, um, I realized it was like dust of gold. And I remember that there's um, restaurants and stuff that cook with gold now. They, they put gold in their food and all kinds of stuff. So um, I saw it before I tasted it, but she tastes like gold. That's wonderful. And she tastes like buttery, um, she tastes like, um, <laughs> Like perfection. <laughs> uh, she tastes like abundance. Uh, abundance of everything that is of heaven. That, that, that is exactly the point. That's the revelation I get now. Remember when we started, the Bible said, taste and take communion which is the body of the lord so whether or not we taste something different we can go deep in there or even if you don't taste something but us being in one spirit so we all tasted i didn't take communion but i joined in that you know because you take it so we all take it so we we participate on that same taste and it's of the lord Yes, and, and all his ways are excellent, and all his being is excellent, and we are in that image of excellence. <sighs> so we partake of that union, right, of that excellence. I like that. Mm, I'm drinking in excellence, the excellence of every part of the being of Yahweh. So along those lines, I was engaging spirit of excellence, and I, it's like spirit of excellence, I want to experience you more, so I just step into it, and I'm like, no, wait a minute, you are already in me, and I am already in you. We are already one in union and harmony. Yeah. 
Yeah, Laurel, I agree with that. Um, this is just the, the um, way I see it. It's almost like we're standing on a mountain. The banner is raised high. We are all ready to go. Uh, we are sent for a reason. We have a very specific mission. Um, but there's excitement and, you know, laughter and so on. I see a very big slide. So you have to go all the way up and then you can jump on the, it's like a, not a trampoline, uh, um, you know, when you do jumping of into a swimming pool, it's like a little, anyway. But I, I see people jump, jumping off there with, you know, making somersaults and stuff. Uh, some people are put into a catapult and sent into the area. Um, and I also see the mountains and I also see the people coming out of the mountains and it's like they are unveiled, their eyes are open for the first time. But Lady, well, um, excellence is with us the whole time. And I also see that uh, intense compassion, intense love um, and support. Um, but she, the whole time I've been feeling she, you are already excellence. And as we walk into this area place or promised land, people will be drawn to excellence because they've always been drawn to excellence, but we are excellence in Jesus. We are in him, he is in us. So that's the summary of what I've got. Yeah, so we can just agree that we are clothed with excellence, that we are um, um, one with excellence and just harmonize together with her and just rejoice in her reality, mm -mm. Uh, being uh, established in our understanding, in our hearts, right? And our excellent, excellence has got nothing to do with the world's way of describing excellence <laughs> at all. And again, excellence is intrinsically within us. Ah, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I have been trading out of a perfectionist mindset into who I am. In Christ, excellent. You know, I just feel to share now, but at the very, very beginning, when Laurel saw that light in the hands, what I heard right away was uncreated light. And I was like, oh, that's us, you know, um, which could be so many other things, of course, but I just thought I would share that. Yes. And I, I feel like that's all we've been shown as well from the beginning that, um, you know, right from the very beginning that we are the banner being raised up. Uh, we are the tapestry and we are the expression of excellence <laughs> that we've been shown the truth about us. And it's it's helping us to embrace the reality of our intrinsic value and worth and our intrinsic nature and being, right? Yes, I agree. Thank you, Linda, because I heard you. I heard the Lord say, you are all in my hands. Feel like we're as we're engaging with um the spirit of excellent it's excellence it's like similar to like when we engage with the seven spirits in a sense it's it helps to tutor and reveal to us who we really are an aspect of us so every time we go in we we're experiencing aspects of the father and we it's important to remember that, that we're creating in his image um just just the simplicity of it all uh, yes, no, that's what i said i form light and create the darkness i the lord do all these things 
Didn't hear that clearly, sir. Do you repeat that? I think there's a scripture, there's a verse that say, that say, I form light and create the darkness. I, the Lord, do all these things. So we started from the black hole, we always discussing now to light, to excellence, and to the completion of the work of the Lord. Excellent, perfect, masterpiece. Yeah, and a little while ago when we were just discussing what excellence tastes like, what led me to back to what I saw at the beginning was that she tastes like light. <laughs> yeah. Now the taste I got earlier was like that of a really well blended um, border red wine, which has you could pick up the nuances and flavors right through it, just in the nose itself, and it was that fragrance and the the smoothness. And I got the impression that as we embrace excellence, we become so we we taste the smoothness of how things operate when we operate in the spirit of excellence. Yeah, I just hear the words um, effortlessness in excellence or excellence uh, with effortlessness. That's so good. the world's definition of excellence is you have to you know uh, ex put in so much effort you have to you know you know give in to so much practice and practice and practice to become excellent in something it's totally different well this might not mean a whole lot to you but i was just hearing um we we are being excellent because our being is excellent <laughs> Amen. Amen.
Just to come back to the sound, I also get that she sounds like clarity to me. Would, would uh, anyone like to summarize or, or frame this up? I just want to say when you said um, she sounds like clarity, um, I heard a bell, but it's that very pure note uh, that rings for a long time. So it's just, you know, one bell note, but it, it, it carries on, but it's very, very, very pure. Beautiful. No, I think it's also a part of the age of perfection that we've been engaging a little bit on. But perhaps um, someone would like to frame this up for us. Do take a do take do step out and and uh, take a. Take not, a not not closing, but this is part of like uh, just men make perfect, and it is is really it is really really a masterpiece. I mean, the Lord has done excellent work in us. He began a good work. He's faithful to complete it. I mean, we know where we came from. If we can get this far, uh, we very we close to the promised land. That we will shortly, you know, be there. Just want to thank the Lord. Thank God for all of you. Every revelation you have, whatever you share, I receive it and I participate in it. And I am blessed in all of us. Thank you. Amen. I'm going to.